So, hey, so I'm here with you today. And um, so the hurricane. So I just want to ask you about how do you feel about how the community went about handling the hurricane, whether it was the, the people at home, whether the police officers or the, or the people in power. How do you think the community handled it as a whole? Fantastic. It brought everybody together. Neighbors came out, helped cut pine trees off my house, off my Jeep. Um, people brought food. The power was on last night, finally. And how many days were you without power? Um, nine days. Nine days. So uh, I'm I'm one of the fortunate people. So within like I think like the first four, I want to say I did I was able to get power, but I still hear that there's some people still even uh, three weeks uh, out scheduled for what's going on. So it's definitely a tough time for us. Uh, but I'm glad you I'm glad you uh, had a great experience with how the community was. But uh, and is there anything that you have to say to a undecided voter at home, uh, someone who's go in the middle? The go to the poll. Vote for Trump. Go to the poll. Vote for Trump. Thank All right. Thank you. What's going on? Oh, Lord, I almost fell. A lovely day outside, though. Um, so. Just with the um, everything that has happened as far as the hurricane, the weather impacting people, I, I do know that there's some people who still um, they're about still about three weeks scheduled out for power. But do you feel like the you know the police, the, you know the people in power, as well as the linemen, have done just a good job handling the situation at Thompson? I do. I feel like that they did an awesome job. The mayor, he 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 did an awesome job. He made sure the people of Thompson had everything they needed. He was he was really out here pounding to make sure we had ice, water, food supplies, and everything. I, I feel like Eric, the community came together and we we made it through it together. Well, that's kind of what you hope to hear. Dang good yeah. answer. Oh yeah. yeah. So, all righty. So, um, so with the hurricane and everything going on throughout our community, people losing power and some people losing their lives. Do you feel like the community, as well as the uh, the people of power and the and the linemen there to get the job done. Do you feel like everyone has worked together well? Yes, I do. I think there's been a, a community that has come together and serviced everybody in this community and the surrounding area. Absolutely. And do you think beforehand, Do you feel, did you feel like before this happened, did you feel like the community was close-knit enough to handle something like this, or did or was this coming as a, as a surprise to you? Um, it's not a surprise because I've lived in Thompson all my life. But I believe it takes an emergency and uh, something like this to bring a community back together to um, support one another. Absolutely. And uh, so with the election coming up in a few days, um, is there anything that you might just have to like chip in for someone who's probably just sitting at home and there are undecided voters still listening to information all around trying to pick somewhere to go? Uh, go? Um. <laughs> That's a tough question because so many of us are divided. Um, I think that we just have to look and see if we're as good as we were four years ago and if you're better off now than you were before. I think that's something that we have to look forward to. Okay, absolutely. Thank you very much for your time today. I appreciate it. Well. Okay. And uh, hey, how are you? You doing? You doing okay today so far, and yes, everything? Good. We're doing good today. Absolutely, that's good to hear. So my question to you is: is um, do you think that uh, everyone handled the hurricane well? Uh, whether that be civilians or uh, people in power, policemen or the linemen who had to do all the work to make sure we got back here? Yes, I do. I think everyone did a beautiful job. I can't believe how much everyone helped everybody. And whether you're related, not related, cleaning off streets, being being part of your job, not part of your job, I think everyone did a fantastic job. I mean, everyone is kind of an exaggeration for anything. Yeah. yeah. But yes, I really do. I'm very po I feel very positive about the whole thing. And we were very fortunate. Even yeah. though we had 75 trees down and uh, four of them in our yard that were absolutely huge, we just about got killed with the tree almost hit our, it did hit our house, but it didn't hit where we were sleeping. So uh, I think we were very fortunate. Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear there because there are some people, like you said, that have lost their lives in other locations. And uh, fortunately for me, I got power uh, pretty soon. Uh, and I know there's some people still scheduled for like three weeks out. Does this uh, really just give you a greater positive outlook on the community altogether? Do you, do you feel a little stronger about us now? 
I don't know. I I don't know if I ever felt negative. <laughs> so, you know, I, I always did expect a lot. And I, it's always been delivered. And this was no different. It just, the only difference was this was almost catastrophic. You know, they everyone's been very helpful. I have a son up in western Asheville where there's flooding and a lot of deaths, a lot more than what we had here. And those people are helping everybody. It seems like our communities are really doing well. I have a daughter in Florida, or granddaughter in Florida, and her community's doing well. So it all looks good. Well, that's great. That's I'm too glad. positive. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just fine. I'm just glad, glad that you stopped and talked to me today, and uh, hopefully we can keep heading in the direction you're talking. Thank okay. you. Take care. Yes, ma'am. All righty. And so uh, first question of the day is, is uh, do you feel like the community handled uh, the hurricane and uh, different situations well today? And whether it be the uh, the people or the people of power, mayor, police officers or, or the linemen that got the job done? Yeah, I think they handled it pretty well. The community finally got together as one and made things happen and made things work through this disaster. So, yeah, I think so. Absolutely. And then you said, and you, you did say finally, uh, and, would, and would you say that um, past tense or past reference, it wasn't so great? I, yeah, I wouldn't say it was. I mean, it was kind of like this is a small town and it's being divided when we should be as one because it's so small, you know. But it takes something like this to see the community get together and do things and, you know, to see that we should be as one and not divided. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And hopefully it doesn't take too many catastrophes right. for us to keep getting together. Right. Um, and uh, do you have something to say at home to an undecided voter uh, voting for the presidential election comes up next month? Well, in a few days, really. Uh, anything you got to chip in for that? No. Everybody on the same page at home. I have nothing to say about that part. Okay, absolutely. Well, thank you for your time today. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, cool. All righty. So today, oh, Georgia, Georgia versus who this is? That's versus <laughs> <laughs> I love the Good shirt job. too. I love right, yeah, yeah. Very Good simple job. there. Very simple there. <laughs> my bad, my bad. But um, so during the hurricane, do you feel like the uh, community leaders or, uh, or the community itself? Do you feel like everyone handled it well? Okay, I do to a degree. I see lots of boots on the ground, like you just said a while ago. I see a lot of people working effortlessly to try to get power and all. Where my frustration is coming in, it is with the people that are sitting behind desks trying to not give us all the information that we need. We don't need to know exactly when our power is going to be on, but we do need like some rough estimates. And I feel like with Jefferson Electric, I'll just say, it, Jefferson Electric, we're not getting enough information. I know the linemen are working diligently. I read I, and we we appreciate y'all, and we love y'all, and we're glad you're here. But we don't feel like the higher ups are giving us the information that we need. You know what I mean? Tell us when which roads are up. Tell us where how long we've got. You don't have to say, okay, it's gonna be up tomorrow, and then it's three days later. But you can say, okay, we need y'all to know we got a couple of more weeks at this or something. That's how I truly feel about it. But again, it's not a knock toward Jefferson Electric. I know that the linemen are working so very very hard, and all the people that are coming in say are working very hard. But we need to do a little bit better with our community. Absolutely love to hear it. So I've heard some, I've had some recent comments uh, just while I've just been out walking around and about, about Jefferson Electric. Do you feel like Jefferson Electric uh, handles stuff uh, even just on the regular besides the hurricane? Do you think they handle it well? Is that a good place to get your electricity? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. I just feel they dropped the ball on this. And I do understand that we didn't, we weren't prepared. We thought we were, but we really weren't. And I, again, I say that, but right now in this situation, they need to get more information out there. They're dropping the ball on that. Absolutely. And uh, so if there's a uh, undecided voter at home right now, someone who's in the middle and there's a few and a, there's a, just a few days coming up for the election. Mm -hmm. um, is there something that you have to tell that undecided person to kind of help them make a choice? Oh, well, probably don't go by what the situation is right now placing it. I wouldn't. This is completely out of the norm. And if you base it just off what's going on right now, I feel like you not necessarily making wouldn't be making the with the information that you got in being make you wouldn't be able to make the best choice just with this information on a regular basis. Look what look at things that happened before now. Not just at right now. Because again, this is unprecedented. I don't think we should base anything off of what's happening right now, if that makes sense. That's my personal opinion. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. And I really appreciate your time right. today. Lovely Thank answers. You. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Have a good one, darling. Good luck. Yes, ma'am.
if you've watched the video thus far, I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's been a, like a lot of support and a lot of people saying that they like the street interviews and they think that it's uh, good for the community. So uh, the best way, the best thing you can do for me is pray for me. But the second best thing you can do for me right now is like, comment, and subscribe. Um, give me your thoughts. Give me your stories. I want to be able to give people real news and the real thoughts of real people. I feel like news channels have a lot of uh, corporate interests. And so I feel like a lot of information there is kind of paid for in the way it's delivered or just simply the truth of the information altogether. Um, I'll be sitting down with a couple of people, a couple of community leaders later on this week. And hopefully you'll be getting a podcast where we kind of talk about where our tax dollars go in our county. But um, I can only be able to step out and do these things, step away from my job, step away from my family. Um, only if I can get the support to do so. So I appreciate you if you've made it to the end of this video and hopefully we can keep striving to be a uh, better community. And one day if I have enough resources as well, we can, uh, if we have some problems, hopefully I can go out there maybe with more than, more than one person than myself and, um, get the solution going. Thank y'all so much and, uh, God bless.